Hey everyone, welcome back to 60 Seconds on Security. Uh, today I am going to cover a, a couple of topics, but they're really related to each other in terms of physical security uh, in a building. Um, the first term I'm going to throw at you today is called piggybacking. So piggybacking is this idea that I'm going to follow other people through a door into a large corporate facility um, and likely go unnoticed, whether I have a badge or don't have a badge. Um, this is potentially walking in with a big handful of packages saying, hey, can you hold the door for me? That type of thing, pretending that I'm some sort of a package delivery guy uh, to be able to get through the building. Um, or even just pretending like I work there in general. Maybe I've got a fake badge on that looks kind of right, um, something else in my hand saying, hey, can you just hold the door for me for a second and going on through. Now, the doorways and facilities that don't have somebody monitoring them are prime for this. So if you have those little badge readers um, and you have people just piggybacking all the time through there, then the security is really pointless. It doesn't do you any good. So second topic that's related to this that I wanted to talk about today, um, because we've taken all of our smokers and we've shoved them outside because we don't want to see them anymore, um, we're often putting them in areas um, at a facility that is hidden from view. It's hidden from the street. It may or may not be monitored. Um, and we've put all these people out um, just basically in a situation where nobody can see who's kind of coming in and out because we want to ignore it. Well, I get it. But here's the reality. One of the easiest ways into a building for somebody who's trying to break into a facility, especially during the day, is to walk around that building, smoke a cigarette, go over to the smoking area, open a conversation with somebody like you work there, and walk right back through whatever door they go through to get into the facility. Um, you get into your facility, and you've got guest networks, you've got other types of uh, places where you can plug directly into a LAN, anything like that. Um, you've just allowed somebody in through a smoking facility without really realizing that uh, this is what you've done. So again, all these ideas wrap around physical security, monitoring your doorways, who comes in and out, um, and the processes that you use to keep those safe. So something for you to think about if you're not monitoring those today, um, if you're not training your people to not let folks in the door uh, that they don't know who they are or they're not appropriately badged, uh, consider it. Consider making those changes. So again, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, Keep checking out the videos down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check out the website. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay smart, stay secure, stay safe. Thanks for watching.